கல்கீஸ் பார்த்திபன் கனவு இங்கிலீஷ் டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் பை ஆனந்த் கணன் ரெட் பை சுஜாதா ஆனந்த் புக் ஒன் சாப்டர் ஃபைவ் மாரப்பா பூபதி த ரைடர் ஹூ அரைவ் வாஸ் அ யங் அஃப்ளூவெண்ட் லுக்கிங் மேன் ஆஃப் அபவுட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஹிஸ் மெக்னிஃபிசன்ட் அவுட்ஃபிட் இண்டிகேட்டட் தட் ஹி பிலாங் டு நோபிலிட்டி His face displayed the restlessness of a wild lifestyle and ambition. The old man greeted him with, Welcome to my home, Commander. Who is the Commander? Don't call me that from now on. I am not the Commander. I am not Bharapa Pupati. I am not my father's son, said Marapan with undisguised rage. He entered the house and sat where the old man was sitting. The prince appears to be upset. I am no longer the prince. Prince is that misfit who was born yesterday. Long live the prince. Victory to Prince Vikrama, said Marapan in a mocking voice and guffawed. After a while, he asked, Let us forget all that. What do your cowrie shells say about my future? In addition to metalworking, Veerabhadra Achari was known for horoscopes as well. He used to work out people's fortunes using cowrie shells. Prince, do you really need all this? You can lecture later. Did you really read the horoscopes? Or did you just plan to give me the runaround? I did work on the horoscopes. If you have specific questions, I can answer those. The most important thing is the upcoming war. If you can't tell me what the outcome is going to be, your horoscopes are useless. I will throw your palm scrolls and cowrie shells in the river myself. Please do so, my prince. They were of no use to my own life. I saw my whole family drown in a single day. All I have in my family is is a female grandchild. Is Valli well, Achari? asked Marapan. He had a strange look on his face as he spoke of Valli. She is okay. If Pundan goes to war, what will Valli do? God will look after Valli. And this old man will take care of her too, said the old man emphatically. Yeah, why should I worry about her when you are around? We digress. We were talking about the outcome of the war. Tell me if your cowrie shell calculations can foretell something. If not, wind up your fortune telling. I wound it up long ago, my prince. I reopened it only upon your insistence. Okay, what did it say after you reopened it? The planetary positions show a disastrous result. One side will be wiped out at the end of the war. No one of that side will return or arrive. But I can't tell you which side it is. I don't need your cowrie shells to tell me which side will be destroyed. The Chora army is going to be destroyed. It will all be on your king's head. My prince, it does not befit you to speak like this. We may have our differences. But when we have an enemy, who is the enemy? Narasimha Varma Pallava. No, the enemy of the Chora country is Parthiba Chora. He does not know the use of sword or spear. He has set out to battle the Pallava army. Is it a joke to battle the Pallavas? They have more soldiers than there are grains of sand in the ocean. On the one side, You have the vast Pallava kingdom that stretches from the river Kaveri to Godavari. On the other side, you have this tiny, weak kingdom. Can we fight with someone who just traveled 640 kilometers, defeated the tyrant Pulikesi and burnt his capital to the ground? We will be like a mosquito fighting an elephant. My prince, why are you telling me all this? Should you not say this to our king? Oh man, do you think I did not? 
I was rewarded by being removed from the commander's post. The king will command the army as well. He is going to lead the army to war. Let him. Who wants this great job? What does that mean, my prince? Will you not fight the war? Who, me? I will go if I am invited. I won't go if I'm not invited. Listen, I want to hear your prediction of the outcome of the war. Tell me one more time. Yes, my prince. One of the sides will be destroyed. No one will return alive. They won't return alive? Does that mean they will return as zombies? Marapan said this and laughed out aloud. He added, If I die in the war, I will return as a ghost and possess Vali. He laughed again. Vali heard this from the kitchen, wrung her hand and mumbled, I will choke you to death like this. The old woman, who was hard of hearing, asked, What did you say? Vali closed the old woman's mouth with her palm. Marapan asked, Who spoke just now? Who else? The old ghost that possessed me must be speaking to herself. Okay, I must go now. All your predictions on my horoscope. They are real, right? If I find out later that you've been lying to me, why would I lie to you, my prince? Marapan stood up, looked around and spotted the stack of swords, spears and shields. Oh my, looks like you've been working hard. Look at all these swords, spears and shields. Your king is going to use these banana lives and grass sickles to fight the mighty Pallava emperor. What a joke! He guffawed again and kicked them. They came crashing down. The old man's eyes fled, just like his furnace would. End of chapter 5